Let's have a look at some examples of partial differentiation. First of all, consider the following example. z equals x cubed plus 5x squared y plus 2y cubed. And let's find the partial derivative of z with respect to x, otherwise known as day z day x, and the partial derivative of z with respect to y, namely day z day y. And first of all, let's work out day z day x. And when we're partially differentiating z with respect to x, we need to treat any variables other than z and x as if they are constants. So here, for instance, y will be held constant. So day z day x going through term by term, x cubed will become 3x squared. 5x squared times y. Now the 5 will stay there. x squared differentiates to become 2x. And y here is being treated as a constant. So y is being treated just like the 5. Therefore the answer is also multiplied by y. And lastly the term 2y cubed, that whole term is being treated as a constant, so that whole term just goes to zero. So simplifying our answer, we therefore get that the partial derivative of z with respect to x here is 3x squared, 5 by 2x, that will just become plus 10xy. So now let's consider day z, day y, the partial derivative of z with respect to y. And here x terms will be held constant. So therefore x cubed is treated just as a constant and the derivative of a constant is 0. 5x squared times y, that means it's going to be the derivative of y multiplied by 5x squared, which is now all treated as a constant. And the derivative of y is just 1 and 2y cubed, that's going to become 2 multiplied by 3y squared using our laws of standard derivatives. And therefore simplifying that one down, day z day y will now just be 5x squared plus 6y squared. So let's now consider an example that just requires a little bit more work. Let's suppose we have z equal to the natural log ln, that is, of the square root of x squared plus y squared. And let's suppose here we want to find the partial derivative of z with respect to x, or day z day x. Now this is a little bit more complicated because the ln function is applied to another function, square root of x squared plus y squared. And before we even think about using the chain rule here, it's good to see just if there's any way in which we can actually simplify this expression. And this is natural log of square root of x squared plus y squared. So that's the same as ln x squared plus y squared to the half. And one of the laws of natural logs that's quite useful is that when you have something like ln a to the power of n, that's the same as n ln a. So here, for instance, natural log of x squared plus y squared to the half. In this case, the half comes out the front, giving us z equals 1 half ln x squared plus y squared. So it's always worth looking at the start to see if we can do any simplification like this. Now this is going to be just slightly simpler to work with to use the chain rule on this. So in particular, if we look at this part here, this x squared plus y squared, we could let u be equal to x squared plus y squared, so that we then have that z is equal to a half ln u. And that means if we look at it, z is a function of u, and in turn, u is a function of two variables, x and y. And therefore it follows that the partial derivative of z with respect to x, since we've just rewritten z as a function of a single variable u, it will be the full derivative of z with respect to u. But since u is a function of x and y, that will be times the partial derivative of u with respect to x. So let's look at these bits in turn. Now since z was equal to a half ln u. That means that dz du, 
that's just going to be equal to a half will just stay there and when we differentiate ln u that just becomes 1 divided by u so therefore just tidying that up a bit the derivative of z with respect to u will be 1 divided by 2u and you might recall u was equal to x squared plus y squared so that'll be 1 divided by 2 times x squared plus y squared we now do a similar thing then with the partial derivative of u with respect to x. We saw that u was equal to x squared plus y squared. Therefore, the partial derivative of u with respect to x, that's treating y as a constant. So that will just become 2x plus 0, which is just 2x. Therefore, putting these together, day z, day x, we saw was dz, du times day u day x so we can now see that's just going to be 1 divided by 2 times x squared plus y squared multiplied by the result here which is 2x and finally we can just clean that up a bit 2's cancel there on the numerator and denominator and so finally writing it as a single fraction day z day x equals x divided by x squared plus y squared